Good evening, everybody. It is Sunday, March, March, May 21st, 2023. It is 1229 in the, at night. And it is 1231 at night. That's what my phone says. Okay, so this is part 10, chapter 1, This Present Darkness. But we were quite right in our prognostication. There was certainly nothing under the sun, nor the moon, as it were. You got arrested, he offered. For the sake of grabbing the reader with a scandalous lead, what else was there to write about? So read it to me. A Spanish girl from the back of the cell offered. She tried to do business with the wrong trick at which the wholesale block goffed and hooted. I demand to be released, Bernice fumed, and have you stepped in epoxy? Do something. Jimmy's on the phone with Kenny. I paid your bail. We'll get you out of here. Bernice took a moment to simmer down <laughs> and then reported, in answer to your questions, I was carrying on spot interviews, trying to get some good pictures, good quotes, good anything. I assume that Nancy and Rosie here, she looked toward two young ladies who could have been twins, and they smiled at Marshall, wondered what I was doing constantly circumnavigating the carnival grounds, looking bewildered. They struck up a conversation that really got us nowhere, news-wise, but did get us all in trouble when Nancy propositioned an undercover cop and we all got bested together. I think she'd be good at it, quipped Nancy as Rosie gave her a playful hit. Marshall asked, and you didn't show him your ID, your press card? He wouldn't give me a chance, I told him who I was. Well, did he hear you, Marshall asked the girls. Did he hear her? The, they only shrugged, but Bernice shifted her voice into high gear and cried. Is this the, is this voice loud enough for you? I employed it last night while he slapped the cuffs on me. Welcome to Ashton. I'll have his badge. It'll only turn your chest green. Hogan held up his hand to halt another outburst. Hey, listen, it isn't worth the trouble. There are different schools of thought. Bernie, I have some things I would love to print, four columns wide, all about Supercop, and that do-nothing cretin of a chief. Where is he, anyway? Who? You mean Brummel? He has a very handy way of disappearing, you know. He knows who I am. Where is he? I don't know. I couldn't reach him this morning. And he turned his back last night. Okay, so that is all for part 10, chapter 1, This Present Darkness. If you like this content, like this video, and comment below. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching.